I dreamed of going to the Olympics when I was younger as a gymnast. I would always see the American flag in the gym and I imagined myself like getting that perfect 10 in that American flag. It very much led to a passion for the flag, for the red, the white, and the blue. In college, sophomore year, I marched into the recruiter's office and said, I want to join the Army. Where do I sign? My name is Melissa Stockwell. I am a veteran from the United States Army. I am an above the knee amputee, a Paralympian, and a mother. So I was commissioned as an officer in 2002. 2004, we learned that our unit would deploy over to Iraq, and we set off for a year-long tour, and mine was obviously cut a little bit short. Um, our vehicle was struck by a roadside bomb, so it ultimately resulted in the loss of my left leg above the knee. Honestly, think about how lucky I was because I had just lost one leg. It kind of helped me accept the loss of it and just uh, move on and try to dedicate my life to those that didn't have their life anymore. As soon as I learned to walk, doing athletics was always the next step. It was, I wanted to feel that feeling of being an athlete again. A pretty quick dream was born that somehow, some way, I was gonna be a Paralympian. Triathlon, swim, bike, and run. So I am probably swimming, biking, and running three days a week, and then one day a week, so I do a bike, ride into a run. It's all based on speed. It's a lot of interval work, and they're pretty intense while you're in it. If I don't let my body recover, there's no way I'm gonna improve because I'm gonna be too sore or too tired to continue. Hydrotherapy, it's definitely part of my recovery. I walk around all day with a prosthetic, and I do have a little bit of a limp, and therefore it can aggravate muscles. Someone with two legs wouldn't really feel. Biking and running, it's a lot on my good leg, on my right leg. And if I have a sore quad and I can get into the right position for those jets just to hit that quad, it feels so good. My back a lot of times is a little bit just sore or tight. The jets do what they need to do, but just the relaxing part of it is just as important and just as good. I sit in the hot tub and it calms me down. I would say five out of seven days a week, my husband and I will get in the hot tub. My name is Brian Tolzma. I'm the proud husband of Melissa Stockwell. We've been married for three years and she has given me two wonderful kids. I like using the hot tub because it's something that we can do as a family. We turn the temperature down and get the kids in it, like a little mini swimming pool. The kids can play in it in the summer. Both of us can relax in it. It's a nice way for us to sit down and get quiet and recap the day. I'm kind of a weekend warrior. I may go out and do something, whether it's yard work or pick up hockey game or a, after a round of golf or a, two rounds of golf. That's where I go. I can almost feel my muscles melting and relaxing and just untightening my back. Get in the hot tub, it's just that initial sensation is just like, ah, just great. We picked this jacuzzi model because it has the lounger. It's kind of like a recliner in a hot tub. He can lay in that lounger yeah. and watch his Michigan <clears throat> State game on TV. It's positioned perfectly so that I can look through the window into the TV and not miss a snap of my game. My favorite thing about the hot tub is just what it brings to the family. And obviously, personally, just having it for the hydrotherapy and the recovery and the relaxation, but I just love it. When I see her out there, I think she deserves it. She's committed to her training. She's committed to the family. She's committed to everything she does is 100%, if not more. And she does it with a great smile and is humble along the way. And it's just inspiring.